interesting stuff is where all the charm comes from, where they're like, man, That's these true. guys are human after all. Look at these gods. Out. <laughs> video drone. We are going to talk about not video drone, but video games. What? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> But it'll be a nice quick episode. We got to go fast. Yeah, man. Uh, we're here <laughs> to discuss the 2020 film, Sonic the Hedgehog. We all watched Sonic um, to f- go full on incel. And we are going to do a quick little movie recap review of the film. The fi- and I'm going to call it. It's very funny. It's a, great, it it's a, it's it's a, a piece of cinema, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I, I was good. It was really good. It, we yeah. should, it needs to be submitted in the Library of Congress <laughs> <laughs> alongside Clerks and Citizen Kane. <laughs> oh, I was really tickled by those three movies. All those are the three movies <laughs> that I think of when I think of the Library of Congress. <laughs> <laughs> Citizen King, Clerks, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Yep. The trifecta. The holy Fuck. trinity of film. That's so funny. Oh, and The Matrix, too, speaking of trinity. Mm. Oh, yeah. New, new Matrix. So, uh, so I'll get, I, I kind of, I, we kind of picked this one because we thought it would be kind of dumb, but I liked it. I thought <laughs> oh, it was, this, it was movie, a, it, it, this movie is so dumb. It's <laughs> <laughs> one of the dumbest fun, piles dude. of shit I've ever seen. I can't, I, I can't believe you guys like this. I liked I can't it. You did it. This, it was perfect. You didn't like it? It's, it's good for a video game movie. It's like leaps and bounds better than Super Mario Brothers with Bob Hoskins. And <laughs> I like that Mo. one too, though. It's definitely <laughs> better than that. No, that movie, movie sucks. fucking really? sucks, dude. I, 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 I thought it was pretty get- goddamn fun. Yeah, they had like a Mario reference where he was like, I got to go to a world full of mushrooms. Oh, oh yeah, that was fun. It's like a central was, plot yeah. in the movie is that, that dunk on Mario. Dude, it was yeah, dude. And now Sonic that, has now come that, out ahead of Mario now. Dude, well, um, Sonic one, Mario zero, when, box when, office smashes. In the world of cinema, for sure, the video games, Mario is still on top. Absolutely. Yeah, Although, dude. I'll say Sonic Adventure Two Battle is yeah, that better game than is any awesome. Mario game. Do you yeah, remember? There hasn't been a good Sonic game in so long now, though. Do you guys remember, like, yeah, like let's Sonic go. Adventure was a long ass time ago. Did you guys like That's Sonic true. growing up? Was he like a, like a, Dude, a, no, no, I was always a Nintendo boy. Same. Always. I, I, but I like the, Sonic Adventure 2 for, it was for the GameCube. No, no, like no, I, no. I, Before I, then, yeah. it was the Dreamcast. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I remember when that first, remember when the Dreamcast first came out, it was like, it was one of the more expensive consoles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you go to the mall and there would be some store that had one set up and you're like, this, this is the future. Yeah. Well, the, what a, what a yeah. hilariously flowery name for a video game system. The Dreamcast. Dreamcast. Step inside Dude, my awesome. world of dreams. Like Mortal yeah. Kombat and uh, fucking racing games. Dude, it was awesome because like the controllers themselves also were like video, like had like a, all the yes. information on it and they had like a little video screen. So you could, it was, it felt like, man, this is, this is how video games are going to be from now on in the future and we could not have been more wrong i never played it. yeah i never played it but i just remember it being such a big bomb and like true gamers being very uh bummed out by that it well, was, like it was a, a cool fun concept but it, yeah there was just like a weird execution it was a cool system like i remember like really wanting one and no one i knew had one because they were so expensive at the time but it was a real treat to go to like a funko land and they had the kiosk <laughs> they had the one you could put the, demo you could play yeah. and do and playing like, sonic adventure at the gamestop dreamcast kiosk what a treat oh and it was always like the demo version so it was always like you're racing through the streets of san francisco yeah i love that song oh, yeah. and then, and well, then we, it would just like re and you have to do like the level again and you're like oh no this awesome level again yeah you know, yeah, just, yeah completely linear <laughs> well, the game, fucking path also the there's so many hills is- in that city like if there was a map of that city it was it'd probably just be like a huge tower of hills you know what i mean it was like 20 hills yeah well the game never gets better than that yeah segment it really it takes a dip after that that's true it really peaks no well playing a shadow is pretty sick the problem is just like the knuckles levels where he's just like the flying knuckles those are so boring but yeah. yeah so i was always a mario guy kind of growing up 
Sonic. Yeah, I, 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 I don't have besides Sonic Adventure Two. I don't have like a super huge affinity for Sonic or anything like that. I, I love like uh, the animated series uh, Sonic. Uh, the Adventure Sonic Underground. Sonic yeah, and that was Jaleel White. Steve Urkel was the voice for Sonic in those. And he Whoa. did I do he that? There you <laughs> <Yeah>. go. <laughs> got double Sonic. Sonic I'm, I'm, wearing an, I'm wearing an Urkel shirt and I have a Sonic background. God damn it! I, I just, need to get I, I need to get thinking, blown soon. <laughs> yeah. Get this man a chili dog. <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. I am. I real. I am receding into. Insult. I I did like it. The God. You know what? So, I because Joe liked it. I liked. I mean, I because Joe liked it. I gave like permission to myself to like it. And then once we both liked it, I was like, oh, everyone likes this. This is like a good movie. No, no, it's a bad movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey is good in it. Like, he's pretty entertaining in it. But Great. everything else about it is I think uh, that's bad. why I liked it. I'm much more of a Jim Carrey fan. I'm much more invested in Jim Carrey than I am in Sonic. And this is like his funniest role since like the 90s, I feel like. Since yeah, the number 23. Is, yeah. This the, is like the, the joke. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, we'll go through the movie, but the joke where he just like is dancing and he gets interrupted by a guy giving him a latte at night for some reason. Uh, and oh, I did like, like that when he's like, "I love the way you like." I love the way you make them. <laughs> like it screaming, like yak milk, <laughs> screaming a compliment. Like it's just such basic. Like Jim Carrey is perfect for just like a like a, a cartoon villain character. Like he's, yeah. I, I love <laughs> hamming it up. <laughs> He just becomes Riddick at the end <laughs> when he's shaving his head. And it's yeah, just the, he, it like was the yeah, scene from Pitch Black. That last part, <laughs> which by the way is in the trailer. They just put yeah. the last scene in the trailer yeah. for some reason. But like it made you think like he was going to look like a traditional Robotnik in like the last <laughs> part. So it was a twist that it was like, oh, it sets you up for a sequel. Mm. They also the, have yeah. the Enchindas. They have, they, they the other line is I Is that love. how you say that word? Yeah, what uh, Knuckles is. I thought, I, it was a, I thought it was a kid, echidna. I the other, that, the other dude. part I liked was you a, just threw a monkey wrench into everything I thought I knew. I, I, I'm ninety percent sure it was a chinda, and that's because I watch a lot of uh, gaming review things on YouTube. Might be. I I've never heard the word actually said out loud. I've yeah, well, I've never seen it. that, and I, I thought it was like a made up thing. I thought it was too. <laughs> Knuckles the echidna or a chinda. Yeah. Right? I always thought <laughs> that was the like fuck a, he is. Yeah, no, it's a real animal. Yeah. Damn. Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know Tails? His name is miles per miles, hour oh, like yeah. miles per miles, hour miles per hour yeah, yeah miles per hour I, I remember i was like thrown off by that as a kid like i thought his name was tails yeah me too i hate like, when okay, that happens and it's like okay well what's sonic's name it's like no his name is sonic it's like it's okay like well how come tails isn't a real name but sonic well, sonic is. sonic's real name is irving cohen that's why he has all those coins <laughs> 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 gotta go fast yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god my feet is so tired from all this running around <laughs> uh, sonic the edgelord that's our Damn, podcast dude. um robbie but, is wiping his brow like a uh african-american headliner yeah like fucking lavelle <laughs> crawford <laughs> yeah <laughs> guys don't don't ever accuse us of not mm, giving 112 percent during this podcast <laughs> yeah, I, right. we're, sweating for, we're dying up here Woo! yeah i'm giving 110 percent in my what if sonic was jewish impression <laughs> 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 just playing into it this will end with uh, an impression of knuckles fucking the stool by the way <laughs> uh yeah so yeah i was never really big son i liked shadow though in sonic adventure 2 i always thought like the yeah. little uh i really wanted those shoes that he had that like uh, hovered when i was a kid shoes yeah. that hover that was like the peak of cool remember heelys oh mm -hmm. yeah with like the built-in uh yeah things. dude First of all, what the fuck? Who? What? What? Who was that for exactly? Those are so big for like two years. Any like cool any people that smoked weed cool. before the age of fifteen. True, That's dude. I also those were so dangerous. I like use those. I I, I fucking. Uh, Naughty, you're just a bitch. <laughs> yeah, dude. you're just a pussy. You're all right. Take it easy, Dalton, Mister White Claw, over there. <laughs> nah, dude. I would. I would. I would ride Heelys right into a woman's pussy. That's a. <laughs> That's what they were for, dude. Rolling in the pussy. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> yeah. Limp Biscuit, but it's, that song's just about being on Heelys. <laughs> <laughs> I keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Fuck, um, I miss those. I miss soaps too. Remember soaps where you could just like grind down poles and 
on the sides of fucking sidewalks and shit? No. Uh, fuck. So, they were anyway. like these weird little arch things. Whatever. So I guess Sonic is like a huge online fan base. Like it's like a uh, like it's a huge incel mascot character. I kind of didn't know there was that big of a fan base for it. Like among like adults. Well, it's men. established in the movie that he is incel because he he mentions at one point that he's not wearing pants and he clearly has no genitals. So <laughs> yeah, the Sonic he, not fuck. He has such, he does like fuck. A, yeah, he has such a micro penis that's hidden under a small layer of of thin fur. Here's what I liked about. Here's why I liked it. When I was a kid, it really just reminded me of the kind of movies I liked when I was a kid. And I know that's like very like epic, like soy boy kind of argument, but it it was. I laughed and. Uh, 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 you my cry? Favorite, my favorite character. Yeah, I cried. I cried when it was over, but I re- yeah. remembered the times we had. Yeah, I mean, like uh, I'm a sucker for that. Oh, I'm moving so fast. Everything else looks to be moving in slow motion thing. Yeah. I love that. The fact that's that it happened 12 that... times in this movie, I was in heaven. <laughs> yeah, this movie really had like three tricks and it played them over and over again. <laughs> like Repeated. Jim Carrey hamming it up with a funny face that like, oh, cool. Look how fast he is. Yeah. And like, oh, these are ra- raindrops I'm pushing aside. I'm moving so fast. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, uh, and uh, also what I liked is my favorite character from... My favorite, my favorite character growing up in anything was Timon from Timon and Pumbaa, and Sonic remi- reminded me of Timon from Timon and Pumbaa in this. So that's why you I like it. Love, you love Nathan Lane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, Hello. Lane I like that Timon wasn't that gay. He wasn't gay really in the original Lion King, and in the remake, it's Billy Eichner, and he's so gay. <laughs> he's like <laughs> yeah. insanely gay in the remake. He's did, like, did you ever? Excuse me, we need to move aside. <laughs> like, it's like, did you so... ever watch um, American Horror Story Apocalypse? No, no. not that one. I stopped watching play, after he, Asylum. He plays a he plays a straight guy in that season. Nathan Lane or but Billy Eichner? Billy Eichner, but he's just like, you're my girlfriend. <laughs> It's like he's still very gay. <laughs> we had so much sex last night. It's yeah, funny that Billy Eichner's like a woke guy on Twitter because his whole character is just being like a cartoon gay man. Like he's like a flaming well, he homosexual. Is- <laughs> Hold on, he is he is that. Like it's not like he's doing blackface. He just is that guy. So he's kind of like gay cooning a little bit. You know what I mean? All right. Okay. I know exactly what you mean. He's appropriating gay culture. I don't care. I it's it. just like such like a, it's, it's, I feel like people have these double standards when they like, they scold people for liking stereotype humor. Yeah. And they love Billy Eichner. Like, same yeah. Kind and of like, people. for whatever reason, like in gay culture, grooming is perfectly acceptable. But, you know, when like, not even, that's not like, even what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, really? Why did you bring that up? <laughs> that is so unrelated to this conversation. <laughs> Man, dude, you have a chip on your shoulder. I just don't think dude, it's fair, dude. Were you turned out? <laughs> dude, this came out of nowhere. Looks like Sonic reminded us of something else from our childhoods. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sometimes yeah. I wish I had a magic ring to take me somewhere far away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to a place without so many men. Well, you do oh, have fuck. a magic ring that took that guy to his <laughs> Really, this whole movie is a me- this movie is a metaphor for a pedophile chase. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Doctor is like, I must Dr. have Robotnik. him. <laughs> well, yeah, what age is Sonic supposed to be in this movie? Like, that's a good like, question. Like thirteen at the absolute most. <laughs> but this like ten years later. Wait, he he was like he, a baby when he escaped. There's a joke. There's a joke in it where they're like at a bar and he's like underage though, right? Something like that. Yeah. But I think, like, he's underage by human standards, but for a hedgehog, he's actually an adult. Well, I like Thanks. also, the other thing I like about the movie is it is, like, very grounded. I think a lot of, like, video game movies yeah. just try to, like... <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> this okay. is a very grounded movie. <laughs> okay. All right, hear me out. Hear me out. For, Sonic can't fly. He's on the ground. So, uh, okay. point in my... No, well, a lot it's of video game movies... It's that flies. That's uh, true. A lot of video game movies just try to adapt video game plots straightforwardly. And, like, video game plots are always fucking insane. Uh, well, like, there is no plot to Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm. Like, they try to explain the rings in this movie. And in the game, it's like, those are just the the version of coins for that. Like, there, there's... Yeah. 
It's yeah. so like trying every to explain video- like, yeah. Okay, exactly. I'll put Every it- video game movie has to take these liberties because the game itself doesn't give you anything to work with. There's just like crazy shit that happens for no reason. So That's it's true. like- I'll rephrase. Kinda- I'm glad they didn't just like set it in like Sonic World. Like that would have been weird in a, yeah. a weird movie to watch. It well, takes place on. Is, yeah. It takes place in San Francisco, which is pretty fucking cool. I like San Francisco too. Also, reminded me of being yeah. a kid. It's always fun to see that city in in movies. Yeah, it's a very underfilmed city. Mm-hmm. Like, there's not a lot of good San Francisco movies. This one's probably in the top five. And it's funny because yeah. like it's yeah, this one, you, yeah. Zodiac and Venom, and then number four is uh, Vertigo. <laughs> I like the game. The game is also set in San Francisco. Yeah, kind of. It's like San Francisco and New York, sort of. It's just well, that like one San level, Fran- really. It's like, it's like early, late 90s San Francisco, so before, like, the tech Dude, I seriously, I seriously thought you were talking about the Michael Douglas movie for a I second. I am. Okay. It's set in, so, Robbie, it's set in Robbie's the one that's mistaken. Wait, what are you talking about? We're talking the about the Michael Douglas movie. Uh, the game? David Fincher's film? Oh, I thought you were talking about the Sonic game. No. <laughs> 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 oh, dude. <laughs> look man don't hate the player hate the game <laughs> yeah oh, that's man. a bad movie the player no the game the player <laughs> <really good. laughs> oh, who's on first right now i <laughs> know <laughs> <laughs> oh, man these bits are really pickling me today Oh my God, this is what we needed, man. We're finally healing as a community. We're, we're fired That's up true. over Sonic. You know, it is a fucking nice day out. It is, it man. Is. Not that I, I haven't been in... outside in three days. Yeah, this might, be, I went this outside... might be the day to risk going out, dude. Yeah, I nice. went outside the other day and I only inhaled secondhand smoke twice. But Sonic uh, would have wanted me to. I'm I gonna go buy a bicycle. Why don't you? Oh, dude, let's get that. Uh, why don't you get a city bike subscription? I'll get one, and then we can just like ride those city bikes. No, dude, I'm buying a bicycle. Why? That's like I more want, of a hassle. I want to own a bike. Why? Because I hate the city bikes suck. Really? Yeah, dude. Why? I want to get a sick bike. I'm going to ride around you. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to become uh, the next Lance. All right, Armstrong. let's go through Sonic real quick. Uh, okay. So it starts out, it doesn't really explain what Sonic is at all. He's an alien? He's an extra... He's tr- no, he's just like, he lives on a parallel world. And he's a unique being who, for whatever reason, which is not yet disclosed to us, can move at at supersonic speed. And he's adopted by an owl lady. He was raised by an owl. Yeah. (laughs) So this is actually a crossover with the Zack Snyder movie. This is like... Owls of Gahul. The Owls owls of (laughs) Gahul. This all takes part in the Gahul verse. (laughs) Yeah. The the GCU. (laughs) Yeah. The Gahul extended universe. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, also the full title is Legends of the Guardians, the Owls of Gahul. Mm, um, they they really were bad. I always thought that was like a Jerry show. Lewis noise. The Owls of Gahul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so, so we open on the the Green Hill Zone, not yeah. Green Hills, Montana, but the Green Hill Zone from the video game. His, yeah, so his guardian, Longclaw the Owl, gives him a bag of rings that cr- create portals to other planets. This, this movie is nonsense. <laughs> this yeah. is uh, yeah, absolutely it's, it's magical. It's a, it's a bad movie. Well, it starts out <laughs> not, but then once it gets into Earth, pretty fun. Welcome to Earth. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> Welcome to Earth, son. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> that was my favorite part, was when James Marston was like, Welcome to Earth. By the way, <laughs> Will Smith... <laughs> Will Smith never says "Welcome to Earth." He says, "No, he welcome. doesn't." He says, "Welcome to Earth" very clearly. That is that a meme. That is a uh, racist meme. No, that meme is like an example of everyone's inherent racism. Yeah, that they just assume that he says "Earth." <laughs> yeah, he Earth. never like, says "Earth." Oh, clearly, this man said "Earth." Because we're gonna have to pull up the video, man. <laughs> the mo- <laughs> let's, let's, we're gonna have to get to the bottom of this. He does not say "Earth." He says yeah. "He Earth. says Earth." No, he doesn't. No, he does not. Well, guys, get ready to owe me a big apology or get ready to edit a large portion of this podcast <laughs> out. No, dude, he's just the black guy, and everybody thought he said Earth. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. <laughs> yeah. So then 